Hello, hello, and welcome back once again to Haven Island. And today we are going to take care of the Don't Eat the Buffet Challenge. Now, to get this, we need to poison all three of our targets. So what we're going to do is we're going to take care of the canary in the server farm challenge at the same time. So basically they both involve poisoning all three targets. Now to attempt to achieve this, we will also get the total server collapse redacted challenge. Because by getting that one we will get all three of our targets into the same place. So, it's a nice easy one right off the bat. What we're going to do is make our way to the villa right at the back of the map. So, the plan for this one is essentially we're going to enter into the villa. We're going to get ourselves a disguise. We're going to get down into the underground server facility. And we're going to kill everybody. Quite literally everybody. Uh, this sounds like it's going to be one big running gun battle, but there is actually a nice quick and easy way to do this. And you may have noticed I have brought a vial of lethal poison with me. You do actually need the lethal poison to obviously achieve the uh, canary in the server room challenge and the don't eat the buffet challenge. So we're at the villa now. We're just going to run down the side of the building, avoid the camera but it doesn't really matter as I said we are going to kill a hell of a lot of people so we're going to vault over the wall just like we would normally we're going to grab the newspaper we're going to throw the newspaper under the stairs here distract the guard we're going to take his outfit give me that newspaper back, I ain't read that yet So the guard should be making his way over now. You can just see him through the stairs there. And when he comes over to investigate, we're going to launch our newspaper at his head. Hard hitting news stories there. So we're going to grab all of his stuff. We're going to quickly grab his body as well and pull him backwards a little bit. Just because in the last update, or it seems, I don't know if it was always like this but a second guard comes to investigate the noise uh, when I first started practicing these levels the Haven Island map, he never Man, used to come over it's me. Nothing worth wasting our time on. It's all good. but he does now come over every time so we have to pull our first victim out of eye shot basically so we've got his outfit, we're now going to take out the uh, surveillance system just because it beats shooting all the cameras as we go there we go and we're now going to make our way around to I believe there's a jacuzzi or a swimming pool we're just around here to the left and on the coffee table here we will find a key card it is a pool, I thought there was a swimming pool there we're now going to make our way back down to the side of the villa here and back into the bushes where we will find the secret exit or entrance to the underground facility so we're gonna make our way down the ladder here and we're gonna run right through the corridor and out the other side so down the stairs through the double doors just keep going straight all the way down until you get past this rec room on our left here and we're gonna hang a left up the stairs into the control room and through the double doors and up these stairs to the top we're gonna make our way into a secret room in the mansion so we're just gonna use the key card on this door make our way into the secret room unlock the medical cabinet on the wall and there is another lethal poison so now we have two lethal poisons so we're going to make our way back downstairs to the control room there's a, a few flights down I have tried shooting that window out and flooding the facility that doesn't work so we're now back in the control room so we're going to pick up this fire extinguisher and we're going to knock out the three people in this room 
you can shoot them, knock them out, it doesn't matter, they're all going to end up dead anyway. And someone down actually in the server room, that's downstairs, that big vast room you can see through the windows, has spotted me doing this. And they are currently about to alert guards. So we need to eliminate them very, very quickly. And the way to do that is to poison the ventilation system. Lethal poison, everybody drops down dead. There we go. So that's the server room cleared of any hostiles. And the control room pacified. And we're just gonna make sure that none of these people get up again. Now I aimed at her head there. And I have noticed that the fire extinguishers don't seem to kill people anymore. Even though there'd be metal fragments flying out in every direction at probably hundreds of miles an hour. So we turned off the ventilation system so we're now safe to make our way down into the server room. And we're going to proceed with the um, challenges basically. I can't remember which challenge is which. But um, one of them involves pulling out four of these server cores. So here's one here. There should be one just in here on the left. So that's two. The third one's up the back somewhere. And what basically this will do, when we pull the fourth server out, that will call all three of the targets down into this area. And here's the fourth one, there we go. So that will get you the total server collapse challenge what we're going to do is just make our way into this storage room for the minute while we wait for all three of the targets to make their way over. Now two of the targets do actually make it here relatively quickly even though one of them is the furthest away you can see he's really going some there. One of them's only just above us and he's making his way down quite swiftly. It's Lud Miller who I know she's wearing some sort of skirt type thing, but I'm sure she can move faster than a walk. I've seen her run actually when she goes into lockdown. So I know she can. So our first target has arrived and has stumbled across some of the bodies. Now luckily, he's panicked and he's gone further down into the server room. So our second target should be just arriving now. He too will spot the bodies. And for some reason, he also runs down into the server room. This is going so well. So when the third target arrives, she will also see the bodies panic and make her way down to the server room, albeit much slower than the last two. Now you should be aware that sometimes when they go into their panic mode, they will run to their automatic safe places which are all upstairs outside of the facility. So you'll have to wait for them to go through their panic modes and then make their way back down into the server room. And their guards will begin the body cleanup operation and this room is the body dump. So you may have to hide in the cupboard. But everybody is now down in the server room so we're gonna make our way back over to the ventilation system. And we're gonna use our second lethal poison in the ventilation system and this will now eliminate all three of our targets. So there they all go. Two targets remaining. Good work 47. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. So that will get you the don't eat the buffet Just challenge. One more target to go. And the canary in the sewer farm That's challenge. Stephen Bradley taken care of. Well done. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, 47. So all we've got to do now is make our way to the nearest the exit. Please don't. And the best bit is there's no one alive who's seen us, I think. So technically it's a silent assassin. It's just a hell of a lot of collateral damage. 
So we're just going to make our way out of the emergency exit, up the stairs, and where we come out is right next to the sea plane. So we're going to use that as our escape module. And this guy is always standing here having a fag. Do some work, man. Lazy sod. And back to the seaplane. So there you go, that's three more challenges taken care of, including two assassination challenges. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.